I'm turning off comments. I don't need to put up with that right now. I wish there was an option for members only comments. Maybe I have a thin skin but most human beings do. I guess, I don't like the toxic negativity that comes with social media at all anymore and I feel more at peace not allowing hateful, abusive people to leave nasty comments on my videos. This is my corner of the internet and I have a right to protect myself, my mental health, my other positive viewers who get attacked for supporting me, and my content. I'm sure people will pick apart every detail of our apartment as if it matters where one lives, when they are so in love. The love we have for each other makes us richer than a lot of people. Hateful people who pick apart the lives of others are miserable and I do not envy you if you are this way. I would literally live under a bridge to be with Salah. There is nothing wrong with our place it is perfect for us. I will clear up some ridiculous rumors, however. When we sleep in twin beds, dumbest thing I've heard all year. We share a large queen-sized bed. I didn't show the other side of our room because of a bit of clutter. People do seem to have an odd obsession with our intimate lives and what we do in privacy. Privacy. Keyword. Don't worry Salah keeps me very very happy in every way. Get it? To our place is actually common in style for this area of the world. Of course there are nicer villas but we like this place. 3. Salah pays for everything here. He always has. I have my own bills to take care of in Canada. Again, not that it is anyone's business but people love to talk in absolutes as if they know something. You don't. I'll leave it at that. He was not in this video because I thought, it would be better to put this on my foodie beauty channel and Salah will mostly be in our couple's videos and not so much on this one though occasionally he may. He is always most welcome. Let's face it. A lot of people, and I find this so so weird, don't want me to be happy. You want me to love according to your standard of happiness and want me to be messy and miserable. People grow. People change. I'll never go back to that. This is the new me. The boring me but it's peaceful. I don't care if I earn less now alhamdulillah I put my trust in God for everything I do now and it has helped me a lot. Money and fancy things are not important to me. All I care about is a clean place, yes I've been cleaning daily and I'm feeling so accomplished, and being with my husband. Again, the love we have is a priceless gift from God. Now for Salah. This man is amazing in ways I could never have imagined and he keeps surprising me every day with his love. If I have a headache or a sore back he will stop whatever he is doing to massage the sore areas. He shows me more affection than all of my exes combined. No exaggeration. He is extremely handsome and tall. He loves my body, oh trust he does he he, hand over mouth, but cares about my health, which one is it? If a man loves a fat woman and doesn't hound her for her weight he's a feeder but if he is concerned about her health he's a fat shamer, rolling eyes face. He randomly calls out my name while we are doing different tasks only to tell me how much he loves me. He supports me in every way. I've never felt a love like this. So pure, heart. The only reason I am so sensitive to hate and negativity is because it makes me disgusted in humanity, honestly. I'm just in disbelief that there is not a single thing I can do right to some people. I'm in disbelief people are so judgmental about the things they are. It never ceases to amaze me, and I guess if the key to success is to ignore all hate by allowing it on my channel well I guess my channel will die then. FB If you don't get back home soon your channel will tank. Most ridiculous comment I have heard today. So I am not allowed to live my life how I want? PFFT I'll go broke and have no one left before I submit my life to make others happy. Screw that noise. I get many people miss the old me. I don't. My life. If people leave, I guess I will have to rebuild a new audience but I am not living my life to make others happy and neither should you. So you have a full-time job, cough cough bullshicks, but you are reacting to my content at 12.30? Lamel let me guess. You are on a lunch break? 
You sound like stale Gorlick Toast claiming he has a job, was going to work and three hours later was caught on his second channel Lamau. You can make fun of our apartment all you want but cam up then and show us your place. At the end of the day you are seething with jealousy because you are so vile on the inside and resemble a frumpy middle-aged actor after years on the sauce who is about to drown in a sketchy hotel bathroom and don't have a man of your own. You would never have the balls to travel anywhere besides stalking my hometown, and being delusional and acting that you are better than Cornwall peeps, or to my fashion shows so it's ridiculous that you sit there behind your ugly ass avatar and criticize others especially me when I have so much more going for me than you and yes that includes our small ass apartment in the Middle East. Where have you gone and what have you done this year besides obsess about my life? Stay mad Randy Quaid wannabe. The nerve of this French fried turd to claim our marriage is not real, when you have a whole ass imaginary boyfriend. Desperate for content as usual. I see your Doherty dozen gets half the views and just a reminder again your vlogs ain't shit. You are and always will be a loud mouth projecting from your smoky hole of misery, middle finger. The funny thing is, it's always a bigger low cow who judges other supposed low cows which is a term made up by a bunch of fat phobic, anti-Semites who make fun of others online obsessively for free. Imagine what kind of pathetic life you have to have to be like that. Check out Hatterhouse for a perspective that is not from following the herd. Infertility shamers are disgusting humans if you can call them that. You can't eat your way to infertility. I used to believe, against the oncologist's advice, that I could cure myself from my ovarian cysts. Actually, when I started having cysts I wasn't as overweight. I started having issues when I was way smaller. There are many many factors contributing to ovarian cysts and thin women, even fitness freaks, get them too. Just because a woman is fat people ignorantly assume any ailment is fat related when that is not always the case. I won't deny obesity is a killer but what makes you all oncologists? You know nothing and sound ignorant as hell. Some of you doing the criticizing have children and you waste your time online bullying women who can't have children. Or bully other children directly, ahem yabba calling kids the R word. It's gross. What's even more funny is. At the time that, I was trying holistic healing methods, people accused me of being insane and to listen to my doctor, so I did and now people infertility shame me because they have no other content and claim I did this to myself, rolling eyes face. Anyway, even if that is true and this is all my fault, I have an eating disorder which is not my fault and to shame others for an illness makes you a big fat ass. Oh. Yes this is a rage Christmas special for you rage pigs. I want food. I actually don't want food. I want edibles and a cigarette and a Coke with ice <laughs> and a big fat wiener. Oh, I hate my life right now. <laughs> I feel fucked up. She make it clap, 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 clap. She make it clap, clap, clap. <laughs> All right, I wanna live in freedom. I wanna dance with my demons. I wanna drink for no reason and celebrate every season. Yeah, yo, call my place the kingdom. Cause I got what you need. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like what you see, please buy my merch. Link in the description below.